In this video, we're going to work with something called the circumference of a circle. And this is going to involve a number called pi. Now, pi is a ratio. It is the ratio of the circumference of a circle, the distance around it, to the diameter, the distance across the circle. So if you were to take and put a string around, let's say, a, a, a can of Coke, a can of soda, and measure that, and then measure the distance across, and divide those two numbers, circumference by the diameter, you would get a number that's about 3.14. And it goes on forever. No pattern, no terminating, no repeating of block. So it is an irrational number. So let's use it now. It's 3.14. We'll also hear it as 22 over 7. It's an approximation, an approximation, an approximation. Not exactly, because if it was, this would be rational, integer over integer. So suppose I know the diameter of my circle is 3 inches. How big is the circumference? Well, I would take the circumference was equal to We'll use the 3.14 here times the diameter, which is 3. Multiply these together, and we're going to get 9.42. 9.42, and the label would be inches because it's a length, a distance. Now, suppose we knew the circumference, we want to find the diameter. So we take circumference is equal to pi. We'll use the 3.14 again. And then we're going to take our diameter, which is 34.5. How, I'm sorry, the circumference is 34.5. How will we find the uh, diameter for this circle? Well, we're going to take the 3.14 and divide it into the 34.5. So the diameter is equal to 34 and 5 tenths over 3.14. If you do that out, you get something about 10.98 and it goes on. So it would be 10.98 approximately meters. So there's working with some ideas about pi, that irrational number. Hope that helps you and as always, have a very happy day.